Hi everyone, in this video let us see two more problems in the circular waveguide. So let us see the first problem is going to be on the calculation of resonant frequency for circular cavity resonator. So an air field circular cavity resonator has a length of 2.3 centimeters and radius of 1.15 centimeters find the resonant frequency for TM010 mode and TE311 mode. Okay. So now you are asked to calculate the resonant frequency for two different modes. See, there are n number of infinite number of, uh, ideally there are infinite number of modes that are present over the uh, circular waveguide or any type of waveguide when a wave is being traveled. Now, among these infinite number of modes, you are asked to calculate the resonant frequency for two modes. One is TM010 and TE311. <coughs> Here 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 specifies the values of M, N and P. Okay. So M, N and P. Now the solution for this one is we should know before the calculation of this uh, TM010 and TE11 the resonant frequency formula we should know for TM mode and as well as TE mode. So for TM mode, for TM mode, the resonant frequency fr is equal to c by 2 pi root of p n m by a whole square plus p pi by d whole square. Now let us check whether all the values are known in this equation or not. See, PNM. PNM value is, is from the table. PNM value is from a table. Table is given for different values of M and N. And A. A is the value given. That is the radius of the circular waveguide. And D is nothing but length of the circular waveguide. Circular cavity resonator. Cavity resonator is definitely you should know the length. And P into pi. Okay, this P already we know, this is from the mode, third one is 0. Okay, so as the 0, 1, 0 for TM, 0, 1, 0 mode, okay, M is equal to 0, N is equal to 1 and P is equal to 0. As P is equal to 0, this parameter will comes 0. And it is PNM by A. So PNM value is for now for M is equal to 0 and N is equal to 1. <coughs> okay. So that value for PNM is equal to 2.405. That is from the table. Okay. That is from the table from predetermined table. All these values are given in the table. Okay. Now. <coughs> The value of A is given that is 1.15 centimeters. Now you should convert that into meters 0 0.0115 meters. Now just the resonant frequency FR is equal to C and means 3 to 10 power of 8 meters per second and divided by 2 pi square root of PNM. It is 2.0. 405 divided by 0 0.0115 whole square. Okay, so this square root and root cancel. 
that is equal to after simplification we will get fr is equal to 9.98 gigahertz this is for the tm010 mode similarly we can calculate for te11 mode so in order to calculate for te11 mode we should know the formula for resonant frequency in te mode so c by 2 pi square root of p dash nm it is p dash nm divided by a whole square plus p pi by d okay same formula just in place of p nm we will be having p dash nm okay <coughs> now for this value it is 3 into 10 power of 8 meters per second 2 pi root over p dash nm p dash nm for this value 11 1, 1, it is p dash 11 1, 1, it is 1.84 it is also from the table and a is same 0 0.0115 whole square plus p p is nothing but 1 pi by d d is given as 2.3 centimeters in terms of meters it is 0 0.023 whole square hope you understand so after the simplification we will be having 10 power 04 gigahertz this is the resonant frequency for the second case okay so in this way we can calculate the resonant frequencies for circular cavity resonator using the formula but we should remember the values of the pnm and p dash nm from the table okay tables are already given in the previous videos now coming to the second problem let us see another problem on q factor another problem on the q factor so a copper rectangular waveguide a copper rectangular waveguide cavity with dimensions a is equal to 2.28 centimeters b is equal to 1.01 .01 centimeters d is equal to 33.9 centimeters is operating in dominant mode dominant mode is nothing but which is having highest cut off wavelength dominant mode yet frequency f is equal to this is the operating frequency f is equal to 8.447 gigahertz find out its q factor and p value assume sigma is equal to some 5.8 into 10 power 7 okay such type of questions you will get in the examination on this circular or recta rectangular cavity resonators for the calculation of q so cutoff frequency uh, fc is equal to c by 2 now see here it is a rectangular waveguide cavity resonator okay you should definitely discriminate which type of uh, cavity resonator it is is it a circular or rectangular because based on that you need to write the formula okay so c by 2 square root of m by a whole square plus n by b whole square that is equal to uh, c by 2 c is nothing but 10 power of 8 meters per second 3 into 10 power of 8 divided by 2 into <coughs> square root of so for the rectangular cavity resonator rectangular cavity resonator which is the uh, highest cut off wavelength for that is but dominant mode we need to consider dominant mode is nothing but te10 so te10 so m by a is remain m by a 1 by a value is 2.28 centimeters in terms of meters 2.0.028 
0 0.0228 sorry 228 whole square because we are completely studying about here dominant mode if dominant mode is not specified we should know what type of the value of m and n okay so after simplification we will get 6.57 gigahertz this is the cutoff frequency so already we know from the problem given that f is given operating frequency is given that is 8.44 gigahertz and from that we can calculate operating wavelength lambda c is equal to c by f that could be uh, after simplification 0 0.0355 meters now lambda naught lambda g can be calculated from this lambda naught divided by square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square so it is 0 0.0 355 by 1 minus fc now just now we have calculated 6.57 divided by f is given as 8.447 it is square and this factor is under root after simplification it will be 0 0.0565 meters now the value of p is 2d by lambda g that means how to calculate this p value p is equal to 2d by lambda g okay d is equal to lambda g into p by 2 so from that p is equal to 2d by lambda g so d value is given and lambda g value just now we have calculated 2 into what is the d value 33.9 centimeters so it is 0 0.339 meters divided by it is 0 0.0565 so its value is <coughs> 12 now the resistance of this waveguide rs is equal to square root of pi into f mu by sigma see we are calculating this value for the calculation of skin depth so in the skin depth rs is one of the parameters so that can be calculated also calculated as sigma sheet resistance ss okay so that means after simplification this we will be getting 2.39 into 10 power minus 2 so i am not substituting each and every value and simplifying you can directly calculate it okay so using this formula now we can write <coughs> delta s nothing but skin depth that is equal to 1 by sigma into rs from this relation that is equal to after simplification we will get a 0 point sigma is given already in the problem it is given 0 0.0721 into 10 power minus 5 meters so finally the quality factor formula Q is equal to 2 into volume A into B into D a rectangular cavity resonator it is the volume divided by delta S into 2 into this is surface area AB plus BD plus AD ok so after substituting everything we will get 1.102 into 10 power 5 this is the quality factor ok so quality factor decides uh, what is the amount of energy stored inside the cavity resonator ok so as it is high 10 power 5 means very high as it is very high it is having good quality factor <coughs> so in this way you can calculate the problem on quality factors and as well as uh, circular cavity resonator